Diane in Denmark here, but I'm not in Denmark today. I am in sunny Sweden on the south coast of Sweden at our Swedish summer house. Now I'm making a five minute video today and I'm keeping it to five minutes for two reasons. First of all, I'm here with the family and I'm on summer schedule. And the second reason is, look what I bought in Sweden today. I bought this fantastic little hourglass. I've actually bought two of them. What This one is five minutes and the other one is 15 minutes. Lo and behold, another trusty timer for me to use. So anyway, I'm going to start the timer. And what I wanted to share with you today, there we go, we're going. Uh, what I want to share with you today is are, are some ideas to help you cope with the summer vacation, whether you have kids or whether you don't have kids. And I was thinking about it the other day because uh, we are on summer vacation now. The, the kids have finished school. My daughter has finished uh, kind of uh, school forever. She'll be starting a high school at, uh, at the end of August and uh, my, my son he's just finished the first year of high school and he's gone off to Roskilde uh, festival it's a music festival and he's all gone off to camp there for the week uh, he's he's 18 and it was kind of quite emotional saying goodbye to him yesterday and off he went you know with his camping gear and his ukulele and his beer so anyway what I wanted to share with you today are some ideas how, how to help you cope with the summer holidays if you have um, if you have kids, one of the great things that you can do is do fly lady camp. Now I did I've done this so many times with my kids. In the beginning, they were like, "Mum, what's all this about?" And then you know, years later, like, "Mum, can we do the camp? Can we do the camp?" So if you go to flylady.net, you can print out a, a camp control journal. I'll, I'll put a link in the information and I'll put a link uh, in the comments here. And what it is, you, you fill out, first of all, you choose a name for your camp and, you know, maybe your kids are into Harry Potter, it could be Hogwarts or uh, Hufflepuff or you could be Ninja Turtles. Anyway, you come up with a, with a name, get the kids to, to come up with their own name and then you fill in the blanks and, you know, you're just filling in a kind of schedule for your day and for your week so that we're not kind of turning into these summer zombies because in the beginning when it's summer you just want to oh you know you want to throw away uh you know there's no more homework to do and you don't want to oh sorry there's a wee, wee beasties here uh you know you don't have to make any more pack lunches but then you know a couple of weeks into it we've turned into zombies and nobody wants anything to eat or drink and oh you don't know what you're meant to be doing and everybody's annoyed at each other so anyway you you, you start filling out and it, it's basically just plotting out your day and, and it doesn't have to be, you know, every 15 minutes you're doing something, but it just gives you a view of what is going on. So, you know, you could start the day with your camp chores, which could be everybody has to make their bed and, you know, inspection, um, you know, dressing to shoes, you know, getting on your camp clothes, your camp uniform, you know, shorts and a t-shirt, maybe everybody's wearing the same colour of t-shirt. Uh, breakfast, maybe the kids will, you know, have some ideas of what they'd like to eat for breakfast and maybe that could be an activity, making breakfast with you. Uh, clearing up from breakfast and then and then you can start to plan on things like, you know, maybe one day you want to go to the beach and have a picnic. If it's raining, you can even have a picnic on the living room floor underneath, you know, a sheet. You know, get, get creative. It doesn't need to cost money. And the thing that I learned was that you know, in the beginning, I was kind of planning an activity for every day, but the kids were like, oh, mum, we don't want to go out. So, so I made it like every day or every other day, we would physically go out to, you know, the library or the beach or do something like that. And the other days we would be at home, you know, making something or painting, you know, there are plenty of ideas on, on Pinterest and on the Internet. And also, I kind of got a bit sneaky and we also managed to get some decluttering and so I would do this kind of scavenger hunt and, and I would give them a list and in the beginning when they were smaller, you know, I'd kind of draw what it was. But it would be things like, you know, find uh, five <laughs> pieces of paper, you know, five drawings that you don't want to keep uh, or, you know, five fine, uh, find five broken crayons or uh, felt tip pens that don't work or, you know, socks that don't have a partner and at the end you know and they would be running around trying to find the stuff a little declutter session and at the end you know I'd give them a wee uh, little mars bar or some kind of treat and uh, they loved that and they did not think you know oh no mum's asked us to do a declutter session so so you can be sneaky with it but the, the great thing was that it kind of had a focus for our day so they weren't 
you know, I even put in things like, you know, in the afternoon when I felt like I needed a nap and had to, you know, wanted to put my feet up, I would say, you know, we're going to have quiet time for, you know, half an hour or an hour. And, you know, they would get to watch a DVD or, you know, just sit quietly with um, some colouring books. So, you know, build it to suit your family. And the idea here is not to have you, you know, be doing things right, left and centre, but just so that you have a plan so that you know that if you're going for a picnic lunch, maybe you want to plan a bit, uh, you know, maybe you want to barbecue in the evening uh, or if you're going out to the beach, maybe you want to stop at McDonald's on the way home. You know, just don't don't overcomplicate things now. And if you don't have kids, you can also go to camp too. Oh, my time's running out, but I'm, I'm going to go for a, another minute. Um, perhaps, you know, if you are retired, uh, you have health issues, uh, I, I don't know, you're a, a single woman and you've got some uh, time and you, you're, you know, you, you've got all these ideas, you can get it written down and you can maybe have a pamper week. Uh, if you remember, was it two years ago now? I did a virtual vacation, a, a virtual retreat. I'll, there, I'll put a link to the playlist up there. And you could plan in, you know, every day you're going to have, I don't know, some kind of healthy breakfast and then you're doing, going to do some gentle stretching or, or arm lift, uh, weight lifting. Uh, or maybe you want to go to the swimming pool one day or maybe you want to uh, read a chapter of a book every afternoon or you know, paint your nails one day, do a scrub the next day. So, you know, get creative with it and enjoy the summer. Don't, don't let it just kind of ebb out away in the sand. But, you know, you use your time and because um, nobody wants to turn into a zombie. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to keep it short here. I did say five minutes. I need to get back to the family and the football. Uh, but as usual, I want to say live long and prosper. May the Swedish Huga be with you today. Sending you sunshine and warmth here from the south, south coast of Sweden and she'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.